Tracy Austin won the first set 7-5. I'm sure Tracy would like to have a record of that. <laughs> Service ace on the second serve to Martinez forehand. That's her first ace. She served five double faults. On the line. Trouble. Game Austin. And Tracy Austin has held her serve. Martina will serve. Fifteen love. Love. Good first serve, certainly help. Well, a miss hit by Tracy. Became a good angled passing shot. 30 15. Game now, good serving that game by Martina. out. I don't know why Martina missed that. Maybe she thinks that her favorite forehand cross court should be changed for a while. Stayed real low. Tracy was stretched out, couldn't handle it. Scoreboards are back working now. for that short ball and made a good strong approach shot. She's been hitting penetrating shots into Tracy's backhand corner and I think that the wind uh, increases it a little bit down there. She's another good one and then missed the open court. Yeah, Tracy had an awfully good shot yes. deep. Last serve from Tracy went 73 miles an hour. Yes, I think Chris has gathered momentum First throughout service. the tournament. Martina still looks a little unsettled. She's serving to stay in the match. So it's a big game and she rattled because it's, she served a dead service. 15 love. It's sixth first service in a row. 
after that last game. That serve was 79 miles an hour coming off the racket. Oh. Oh. Must have been close. <laughs> Virginia, it seems that uh, Martina wants to go into Tracy's forehand when she can, approaching. She's missed some topspin forehands, driving it, trying to go up that side, and there she's trying to go under it and missed it. 15 all. Perfect forehand volley right in the corner. According to the mechanism that we have to check the speed of the first serve, Martina is averaging just about 15 miles an hour faster Beautiful. than Tracy on the first serve. A serve like that. That one was 93 miles an hour, and that's her second ace. Second set. There's the speed gun that's clocking the speed of the serves for us. Tennis magazine furnishing that. First time we've done that in tennis. Mm -hmm. At least working in a match. Seen it done in baseball. And I regret to say I've seen it done on the highways. <laughs> Tina's shot was out. Tracy's signal, yes, it was ball. over the baseline. It was out. The ball, ball was out. out. Oh, Martina obviously doesn't think so. It was rather a late uh, call. It's hard to tell from this end, too. Martina does get very impatient with calls, whether they fool her or against her. It seems on this court that the short ball stands up and just hangs in the air so that you don't have anything to get hold of to hit your approach shot off because normally that would be a bad shot. It ends up being a good shot on this court. pace on the ball and placed it well and has not given Martina the opportunity to come forward come to the net which is what she'd really like to do. Serving to stay in this match, but uh, Love 30 having served two good serves and both having been returned awfully well by Tracy. 
Just feel the world is against him. Nice triple match point for Tracy Austin. Love 40. Quiet, please. Young lady, and well she should be. She played well. She played very well. She played well from start to finish, and I thought that um, Martina never really settled down. It was a rather shame, actually, because Martina is such a great player that she didn't really play a bit. Tim Ryan is down courtside, and he'll be back with an interview with Tracy Austin. Tracy Austin, who will advance to tomorrow's final against Chris Everett Lloyd, and Tracy, uh, I don't think I've ever seen you quite as happy at the end of a match. Did did you feel that you played as well as you could? Your game seemed to be very, very steady. Um, yeah, I think I played well, and um, you know, I think we were both a little bit nervous. You know, she made a few unforced errors, and I made a few because um, we were both nervous. When you were uh, up 4-1, all of a sudden it turned into 5-5 in that first set. Love 40 down. That was quite a battle back. Did you think you really could do it at that point? Um, well, I don't know because you know I was down on my serve and it was her serve coming up. So I thought that she might win that set. I thought she was going to win that set. But um, you know I don't really know how I pulled it out at Love 40. What do you tell yourself when you're Love 40 down in that spot? Um, well, I just had to go for my shots because you know I think I was playing a little bit too tentative then. Tomorrow, Chris Everett Lloyd, uh, kind of like looking in a mirror, isn't it? Um, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Do you think the crowd will be with you? Um, well, the first year I played her at Wimbledon, they were with me. And last year, I don't know, they were kind of even. But um, maybe this year they'll be for me because I'm the underdog, and she's won it four times in a row already. Well, one thing that uh, I know American fans are going to enjoy, the fact that you won today means this will be the first time since 1953 that it will be an All-American final of both the men's and the women's. Were you aware of that? That's good. Do you remember 1953? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Our Tony Traber does. He won the men's singles that year. Congratulations to you, Tracy, and best of luck tomorrow. Thank you.